Have you ever wondered how a seemingly straight kick can suddenly bend and swerve right into the goal? It's mind-blowing. Well, this incredible phenomenon isn't magic. It's pure, fascinating physics at play, specifically the magnet effect. When a player strikes the ball off-center, they give it a rapid spin, which is absolutely crucial for the curve. As the spinning ball flies through the air, it drags the surrounding air along with its rotation. This interaction creates a difference in air pressure on the opposite sides of the soccer ball. Listen closely now. On one side, the spinning ball's direction is opposite the airflow, creating resistance and high pressure. On the other side, the spin and the airflow are moving in the same direction, allowing the air to move faster. Faster moving air means there is lower pressure on that specific side, a fundamental principle of fluid dynamics. The ball is always pushed from the area of high pressure toward the area of low pressure. That's the key. This net force sideways is what continuously acts on the ball, causing it to curve away from its original path. Think of it like steering a car. The pressure difference acts as the rudder, constantly directing its flight path. The faster the spin applied by the player, the more dramatic the pressure imbalance becomes in flight. This means more spin equals a much tighter curve, making it nearly impossible for the goalkeeper to save. The speed of the kick also plays a major role. The faster the ball travels, the more air it pushes through. However, there's a point where the speed can actually reduce the effectiveness of the curve. If the kick is too powerful, the ball might reach its target before the magnet force has time to fully act. The greatest curved shots require the perfect balance between the initial velocity and the rotational speed applied. Now, let's talk about the ball itself, its surface texture, roughness, and the quality of the panels matter. A rougher surface creates more friction, enhancing the ball's ability to drag air and maximize the pressure difference. This is why those famous knuckleball shots are so rare and unpredictable. They are kicked with very little spin. When there is minimal spin, the ball relies on other factors like seam placement, leading to chaotic, unpredictable swerves. This erratic movement is often called vortex shedding, where small air turbulence pockets randomly peel off the ball. Now, let's look at the atmosphere. Air density and even humidity can slightly impact the magnitude of the curve. In denser air, the resistance is higher, meaning the magnet force acts more strongly and the ball slows down faster. Interestingly, the size and weight of the ball are carefully regulated to ensure the magnet's effect is consistent. A heavier ball requires significantly more power to achieve the same speed, but is less susceptible to wind. Professional players train rigorously to master the precise point of contact needed to generate maximum controlled spin. This is often done using the instep of the foot, sweeping across the ball rather than hitting it head on. If you hit the ball slightly below center, you get top spin, causing it to dip dramatically toward the goal. Hitting slightly above the center gives you backspin. This can help the ball stay airborne longer, which is useful for crosses. The most powerful curve, however, comes from pure side spin, maximizing the lateral force of the Magnus effect. This technique requires the kicker to approach the ball at an angle, often with a follow throw that hooks across the body. Mastering this is why players like David Beckham and Roberto Carlos were absolute legends at taking free kicks. Their ability to consistently impart maximum spin while maintaining a high velocity was truly a repeatable scientific marvel. Interestingly, the speed of sound is involved because air compression slightly alters how the air moves. The effect is minor in football, but it shows how many different physics concepts are at work simultaneously. Even the air pressure inside the ball can have a tiny influence by slightly affecting the ball's overall shape and firmness. A slightly underinflated ball might flatten more upon impact, 
which could slightly reduce the clean application of spin. So, the perfect curve is the convergence of the player's skill, the ball's design, and the laws of aerodynamics. The Magnus effect isn't just for soccer though, it's the same physics that allows baseball pitchers to throw curveballs. The curveball in baseball uses the same principle, the spin forces the ball to deviate, confusing the batter greatly. Even in golf, a sliced or hooked at is a result of the Magnus effect, caused by improper, unintended side spin. So, whether it's a tiny white golf ball or a large soccer ball, the physics principles remain universally consistent. Understanding this science allows players to intentionally manipulate the ball's flight path with incredible precision. Engineers and scientists are constantly working to design better balls that maximize the potential of the Magnus effect. For instance, some modern balls have specific textured dimples, much like a golf ball, to stabilize the spin. These tiny design elements ensure the boundary layer of air around the ball interacts optimally, enhancing the curve. Without spin, the ball would travel in a straight line, completely limited by the force and direction of the initial kick. It's the rotational energy converted into sideways deflection that transforms a simple kick into a work of art. Next time you watch a game, pay attention to the kicker's body language and the precise moment of contact. Notice how they angle their foot to the side, generating that critical rotational motion that makes the ball dance through the air. The curve is a perfect example of Newton's third law in action. The air pushes the ball, and the ball pushes the air. Ultimately, it's the beautiful complexity of fluid dynamics that turns a simple rubber bladder into a challenging projectile. This physics explanation is the foundation for almost every skilled free kick or corner kick you see today. Knowing the science doesn't take away the thrill. It just enhances your appreciation for the player's control. So, whether you are playing or just watching, you now know exactly what is behind that curving motion. It's the pressure differential, the spin, and the resulting magnet force that creates the spectacular result. Remember, physics doesn't just happen in the lab, it happens every single time a soccer ball curves. What other everyday sport or object do you think uses a surprising amount of fascinating, complex physics? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more deep dive science videos.